Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Keela and Jojo. Josiah decided to be my cameraman for right now. Y'all, I'm actually, if y'all can tell, I'm not moving my, my neck on this side at all. Like, at all. It hurts. Don't, don't, don't do it. Just, just don't do it. Okay. But, I don't know what I did. Whatever I did, I did it. Because, my neck is hurting so bad. My cameraman arm must be getting tired. I don't know exactly what happened, what I did, whatever it was, it was done. My neck hurts so, so bad. I'm actually right here trying to do a homemade uh, like heating pad type thing until I can go to Walmart and get another one. But I wet a hand towel and I wring it out, like I um, completely wring it out. And then I put it inside of a gallon size Ziploc bag. I got it. Okay. I put it inside of a gallon size Ziploc bag and then I um, put it in the microwave for a couple of minutes to let it get hot. You gotta leave the bag open though. Leave the plastic bag open. And then just let it go for two minutes. That's fine. It's hot enough after two minutes. And then take a dry towel and wrap it up in there. And it's like a little homemade heating pad for my neck. Now I just gotta find what I did with my dry towel. I don't know where my cameraman went to. Probably in the bathroom, as always. Where he spent most of his free time in the bathroom. Hold on, y'all. So. This is what it looks like. Ignore the fact that I bleached my towel. That ain't the purpose of the video. But I'm out of breath <laughs> walking up the stairs because whatever I did to my neck, it's like it's causing me to have shortness of breath too. Like I don't know if it's, I don't know what it is. And I went to the emergency room yesterday. I was supposed to be at work, but that didn't happen. Oh my God, it feels so good on my neck. Oh, come back here. Come back here, come back here, come back here. Okay. Oof. But I went to the emergency room yesterday and they did a CT scan. It was crazy, y'all, because it started out as just like a migraine headache, or so I thought. And that lasted for like three days. Once the headache started to like wind down or wear off or whatever, then I had like this sharp piercing pain go down my neck from like the base of my skull down my neck. And now the whole thing hurts, like hurts, hurts. Like I can't, I can barely move it. And it's like every time I try to move, it's like it's in a sharp pain down my neck to my chest, which is weird, but it does. And then it's like, I can barely like grip anything. It's like, Y'all see my nightgown right there? I'm so unfocused. Would you focus, please? Focus. But I, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, my fingers. Like, my fingertips. I don't know what my hands are ask you right now. But my finger, like, my fingers are numb, and I don't have, like, a lot of grip. Both hands. I don't have, like, a good grip on anything. And my balance is, like, completely off. So, I don't know exactly what I did or when I did it. But whatever it was, I did it. Y'all can probably hear. I got the TV on watching a tennis match right now. Or it's watching me. And the medicines that they gave me from the emergency room, they caused me to go to sleep. Like, they knocked me straight out. And I don't like to feel high like that. I don't like that high feeling. I, I like to be in control of me and taking this medicine. I'm not in control. It's like, I'm high, y'all. Like, high, high. Medicated high, okay? Like, not illicit drugs. Medicine drugs. Prescription drugs. That's the word. Anyway, I don't even know where I was going with that. But, somebody come help me. But, anyway, I did a homemade heating pad by putting, um, what did I do? What did I do? I put, I, I, I got a hand towel, kind of like the one I have right here, and I wet it completely, submerged it in water, and then I wrung it out as best I could, and then 
I put it inside of a Ziploc bag. Uh-uh! Y'all, he leaned on the bed, and it hurt me. But I submerged it in water, and then I wrung it out completely. And after that, I put it in a mic. And what did I do? I wrung the, the wrung it out, and then I put it in a gallon size Ziploc bag, and then I put it in the microwave for two minutes <coughs> to let it get hot. And then I uh, sealed the bag up once I took it out to keep the heat in. And then I wrapped it in a dry towel, dry hand towel, and then put it on my neck. And it works. So it's like a quick and easy way to get some relief. If you don't have your heating, can't find your heating pad or it's tore up or there's Josiah. Say hi. Get, get, get down. You're too tall. Lean down. There you go. Say hi. Hi. How you doing? I've been in the shop for too long. When he's, I was shining. He's into, that's because you put on all that lotion. He has enjoyed his summer in the pool. Mm -hmm. So when he go back to school in August, and the people want to know why you purple, you can tell them. <laughs> I enjoyed my time at the pool. Before... You ready to go back to school? Yeah, might as well. You ain't got about three weeks. It's three and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks. Something like that. Oh, I'm losing my heating pad real bad. But anyway, come back and finish telling the people what you want to do. Or, never mind. Don't come back. Whatever. I don't care. I was trying to say before, before all of that happened, I wanted to go to the clubhouse and go outside. Before school comes. You can go outside. No, with my clothes. Well, honey, I don't want to be responsible for nobody's kids right now. I can barely look out for you with my neck hurt. So, that's going to have to wait maybe the weekend, okay? I got to be able to have mobility in my neck, okay? Okay. But anyway, guys, y'all stay tuned. The purpose of this little short video was to tell you guys I made me a homemade heating pad by putting some uh putting a submerging a hand towel in water wringing it out really really good putting the wet towel in a gallon size ziploc bag seal uh leave it open and putting it in the microwave for like two minutes taking it out sealing it up wrapping it in a dry towel and then voila you have a homemade heating pad and whatever you do though Please make sure that the dry towel is wrapped around the Ziploc bag or it will burn the lights, burn every skin on your side or your neck off. I yeah. learned from experience. So, I have a fidget spinner. Another one. Y'all stay tuned. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in our next video, okay? Let me get back to my homemade heating pad now, okay? I love you guys.